I'm Joe Kirshner with American Water College. Watch as I use my five-step approach to solve this problem. How many pounds does 750,000 gallons of water that is stored in an elevated storage tank weigh? How many tons of water is this? So we're looking for two things. We're looking for total pounds and how many tons that is. So we're going to use our five-step approach. Step one, we're going to pull our numbers out. They told us that we're looking for pounds. They gave us 750,000 gallons, and we also want to look for tons. So this is the information given. And we're just going to convert these 750,000 gallons to pounds. And then once we have pounds, we can then determine how many tons that is. So taking our 750,000 gallons, we use the equivalent that says one gallon weighs 8.34 pounds. Now this is a gallon of water. Okay, Water has a specific gravity of one. So when we're talking about the weight of a gallon of a liquid, if it's water, it's 8.34 pounds. If it's some other liquid, it would be 8.34 times whatever the specific gravity is, or they would tell you how many pounds per gallon. But in this case, since it's water, we use the equivalent one gallon is 8.34 pounds. And that allows our gallons to divide out and we're left with pounds. So we simply multiply 750,000 times 8.34 and that gives us 6,255,000 pounds. So that's our first answer. Well, now we need to take those pounds and convert those to tons to see how many tons this is. So we write down our 6,255,000 pounds, and then we enter the equivalent that says 2,000 pounds for every one ton. Okay, so one ton is 2,000 pounds. And notice that we let the units tell us whether we're going to divide by the 2,000 or multiply by the 2,000. That's the important thing or concept that you really need to grasp when we do these unit conversions is that these units have to cancel each other out. So when we put the equivalents in the monorail, if we already have pounds on top, that pounds goes on the bottom. Okay. Well, since we have it set up like this, those pounds divide out and we're left with tons. So this tells us that we need to divide 6,255,000 by 2,000, and we come up with 3,128 tons. If you need additional help preparing for a state license exam, click the link below and we'll get you some more information about our license-specific exam prep courses.